friends today let us discuss on aerial photography see aerial photography is defined as the science of making photograph from the air for studying the surface of the earth in fact uh, aerial photography is a part of remote sensing and in the case of aerial photography we make use of this visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum that is why it is called as photography so the main uses of the photographs are for pictorial representation that is for mosaic making mosaics are nothing but we are arranging the photographs overlap the aerial photographs in a systematic manner so that at the end we are getting the pictorial representation of the terrain so aerial photographs are normally used to represent the mosaics then preparation of the base maps especially the topographical maps which we are using for the generation of the base maps then for photo interpretation and photogrammetric surveys we are deriving some quantitative information then we are deriving some useful information by interpreting the aerial photographs the immense wealth of information recorded on the aerial photographs is being made use of more and more in economizing and expediting natural resources surveys in the field of geology soils land use engineering and town planning so there are important stages involved in aerial photographs so the process of aerial photography includes the important stages which are planning for photography planning and execution of photographic flights then processing of negatives and generation of the positive prints in fact we have survey of india office located at dehradun they take up the aerial photographic work and they assign the aerial photographic task to one of the flying agencies in india there are three flying agencies they take up the flying task for aerial photography they are indian air force aerial survey company and national remote sensing service center so whenever we go for aerial photography we must know some of the basic things so there are main differences between an aerial photography and the topographical map the important differences are see the topographical maps are generated based on aerial photographs using uh, photogrammetric techniques but aerial photo is a perspective projection central perspective projection in the sense if you join the object and corresponding image points see there is a lens system the it will converge the rays will converge at a point that is why it is called as central perspective projection whereas in the case of topographical maps they are orthographic projection that means if you join the object and corresponding image points they move vertically and one more difference between an aerial photo and the topographical map is scale is not uniform in the case of aerial photograph whereas in the case of topographical map the scale will be uniform in the sense the scale of the aerial photography means it is focal length divided by flying height the focal length remains constant normally in india we make use of this 152 mm focal length lens for taking the aerial photographs so focal length remains constant but the terrain is undulatory so that is why we are getting scale variations from point to point that is why normally one cannot make use of the aerial photography straight away to generate the thematic maps so the other difference between an aerial photography and the topographical map is in the case of aerial photography it is the actual representation of the terrain whereas in the case of topographical maps they are represented by the surface features are represented by some symbols now before making use of any aerial photograph one must have the knowledge of the scale the scale generally used in natural resources surveying vary between 1 is to 50000 to 1 is to 5000 depending upon the purpose for which we make use of the photographs the scales commonly preferred are 1 is to 15000 to 1 is to 25000 because we have the topographical maps are also available on 15 25000 50000 like that for general purposes we go for in the field of geology we make use of this 1 is to 50000 to 1 is to 60000 scale aerial photographs to extract the geological information and the advantage of this topographical or aerial photographs are these scales have the advantage of corresponding to the scales of modern topographical maps see selection of scale often depends on relief and other considerations 
the higher the relief of the terrain and higher the density of vegetation the smaller should be the scale selected while selecting the scale of photography for geological interpretation or for any kind of natural resources mapping we must know the advantages and disadvantages of large and small scale aerial photographs for example when i say 1 is to 50000 1 is to 63360 and if i compare these two scale aerial photographs with 1 is to 25000 or 1 is to 10000 certainly 1 is to 63360 or 1 is to 50000 are the smaller scales and 1 is to 25000 or 1 is to 15000 are the larger scale maps so let us see some of the advantages so you are getting the regional picture in case of small scale because it covers larger area see for example 1 is to 250000 scale map means it 1 cm on the map is equal to 2.5 km on the ground so it covers larger area but it provides less information in a similar way the aerial photographs if it is having a smaller scale it covers larger area but you are getting lesser information then association of features are clearly brought out in the case of small scale bit because it covers larger area so whatever the associated features are there that you can see very clearly on the small scale aerial photographs then number of photos is less and which is reducing the cost and labor in the sense small scale for example if you want to cover 1000 or 10000 square kilometer area with the small scale aerial photographs see hardly you require few to uh, aerial photographs to cover the entire area because each photograph covers larger area so you require less cost and the labor also will be less and mosaic making is easier in the case of small scale because you have to handle less number of photographs mosaics are nothing but overlapped aerial photographs that have been systematically assembled to get the pictorial representation of the terrain depending upon the compilation of mosaic we have uncontrolled mosaic controlled mosaic and semi controlled mosaic Uh, the survey of india is capable of generating the control mosaic because they have some control points during the time of photography they will collect some control points and all with that they will generate the topographical maps it will be more accurate whereas in the case of uh, uncontrolled mosaic by seeing the common features present on the photographs we are generating the mosaic so by generating the mosaic we will get some idea about the nature of the terrain before making use of any aerial photographs for a particular purpose we must go for mosaicing because one photograph may not cover the entire area so in such a case we must assemble it properly so details of topography of larger area will be obtained in the case of small scale aerial photographs because topography means how the surface is where the undulations are where it is having the higher relief where it is having the lower relief and all so we are getting the details of topography of larger area because small scale covers larger area definitely 1 is to 2 lakh 50000 or 1 is to 50000 uh, aerial topographical maps or photographs covers larger area whereas 1 is to 25000 or still larger scale aerial photographs cover smaller area and some of the disadvantages in the case of a small scale aerial photographs are low lying areas are obscured because the error will be more then geological details are not that much clear because you are using small scale maps and some of the smallest features will not be represented on the small scale so in the case of large scale let us see some of the advantages in the case of large scale details of topography or any information if you want to extract geological details land use land cover details or the topography soil types so you are getting more and more information because the aerial photographs on a large scale cover smaller area but at the same time they are cover providing more information and in the case of geology suppose somebody wants to study the geological features of an area what type of rocks are there where you have the igneous rocks the sedimentary rocks the metamorphic rocks what kind of structures are existing in an area where you have the folded pattern where you have the faults where you have the liniments and all see all these geological that means lithological mapping the type of rocks existing in an area plus the structures existing in an area can be mapped with more details so that is the advantage of large scale normally we make use of this large scale aerial photographs for number of purposes different kinds of natural resources mapping 
can be carried out on a very large scale. Even the cadastral level information we can extract. That means village level information. If somebody wants to get more information of the village level, so definitely for that we must go for very very large scale photographs. And the disadvantages are we have to handle more number of photographs because each photograph covers lesser area. That means we must go for more and more photographs. So cost will be more, and it is a laborious job also. and distortion due to relief is also more because in the case of aerial photographs the image get displaced because of the relief so before making use of any aerial photograph one must have the knowledge of the scale on what scale the photography must be yeah, photographs must be used to carry out different kinds of resources mapping it depends upon the purpose if it is for a larger area it is better to go for small scale maybe when we concentrate from country to the state state to the district district to the taluk taluk to a village level so we must go from small scale to the largest scale because we may not require all the details of all the areas so in such a case it is better to go for smallest scale mapping and whenever we concentrate on a particular taluk or village if we want to extract the geological details or any other details we must go for very very large scale mapping these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of small scale and large scale i hope it is clear for all of you thank you